The following podcast may contain spoilers. <laughs> Welcome to uh, treading the path of the heavens, reading the path of heaven, he reading the path of heaven. It's one of those for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's one of the first two. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, no, it's not that. It's not that third one. Fine. Uh, my name is Seth. I am your host this week. I read a book, you guys. You read? I don't believe Surprising. you. I did not. Okay, let's be honest. First, I did not finish a book because the book that I was reading is not finished. Let me first start by saying the book that I would like to talk about is Cultivation Chat Group. Oh, you did mention that last episode. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little book. And now I'm just fucking with all you guys. I'm not actually going to because some bullshit happened with Cultivation Chat Group this week. And I'm uh, frankly not incredibly pleased with uh, the way it is currently being handled. So I am not going to like advertise for uh, a book that you I don't sure really. You're not just looking for a way to not do your I've episode. read like 92 chapters of this book. I got to a Caucasian monk that hit a man and then said, fly away, faggot. And, <laughs> oh my and, God. And, and, did and he it, actually and say that? He did. He did. That is in the text. Please don't get mad at me. That was in the text. <laughs> oh my God. And, and, and I got to there and I was like, well, this is certainly a uh, a goofy book, huh? And then uh, and then and then I stopped reading it because um, that seemed like a good place to stop for now. Some uh, some shit was happening on a train car, whatever, whatever. Yeah, we're 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 not happy about how Cultivation Chat Group just got treated. So yeah, we're kind of not talk about it in protest. Yeah, it would kind of be a bad a bad taste to be like, hey guys, here's an episode. On this thing. So yeah. let's do also, something else. Yeah, like, that's what I prepared for. And so, like, because we're not going to do that, we got to do something else. So instead, by request. Yeah, this guy, Red Mage Summoner, requested in two separate Reddit threads, like, very strongly in both, that we read Emperor's Domination. And so I, of course, was not doing that. I was reading Cultivation Chat Group. But. But our other host, myself, Jonathan Kinney. And Richard. Oh God, that's so late. I'm so sorry. You guys shouldn't let me be the host. It's just, it was so bad. It's already falling apart. Now oh, I'm Bill. Oh God, it's Bill. Um, <laughs> so Richard and I started reading this the uh, the day that Red Mage Summoner requested it because we uh, we were really happy that we got our first request. And I cracked out. Oh, I've read so much of this. I've been dying to talk about it anyway. Well, that's good because that's the only thing we have to talk about this week. Yeah, I got about 153 chapters in, mostly because I got caught up in catching up to all my other books. Battle Through the Heavens and Martial God Oscar have been so good lately. Mm, that sounds like books that we should... Oh, oh, don't... I I lust for the chance to talk about those books. It'll happen eventually. Of course. Uh, I've been... Uh, One step I, at a time. I took a step back from being in the Korean web novel Wonderland since there's so many being translated right now by one rainbow turtle. Ooh, one specifically rainbow, rainbow turtle. turtle. A, a turtle made of rainbows or red and black turtles. I don't know what they go by anymore. I think you're just supposed to imagine it and then the hope and joy that you feel at imagining it is supposed to be the feeling. Because oh, okay. Jesus, what a prolific translator. Yeah, man. But I took a step back from that. I'll hold back. I'm not even reading Overgeared right now because of Emperor's Domination. That's one that I hear is very good. And... Um, I don't regret it because this one is like really good. So tell me, Bill. All right. So I'm looking up these novels, translate novel updates. Yeah. Yeah. Novel updates.com's description says for emperor's domination, 10 million years ago, Lee Ki Yi planted a simple water bamboo into the ground. 8 million years ago, Lee Ki Yi had a koi fish pet. 5 million years ago, Lee Ki Yi cared for a little girl. In the present day, Lee Ki Yi woke up from his slumber. The water bamboo reached the apex of cultivation. The koi fish became a golden dragon. The little girl became the nine world's immortal empress. <laughs> I'm sorry, I completely interrupt. The thing that you just read said that that tree, that, that, no, I'm sorry, that a piece of bamboo reached the apex of cultivation. Yep. Yes. W wait for it. <laughs> it makes right. complete sense. Okay. Because anyone can cultivate. I guess I guess that is the Not thing just that humans. I should know by now. Not just humans. In the nine heavens. 
Uh, Anything can cultivate. Okay, so Emperor's Domination. Okay, guys. What's the, the best way I can explain this? Because I was talking to Kenny about it because we were both talking, reading this and then giggling about it like schoolgirls. <laughs> it's basically, okay, you know how when you're reading a normal cultivation novel and ev- your character struggles for a bit and then he reaches a certain level above everyone and then he does his victory lap and sure. it's super satisfying? Sure. Yeah, it's it's the best because it's like you you've seen him struggle under these people like it's it's been like in battle through the heavens it's like it's like the dozongs or the dozuns or whatever it happens to be and it's like you struggle for so long to fight people of that thing it's always like at the cost of your injuries and you have to pay, like use medicinal pills that you were saving and it's always these awful things rare treasures but then eventually you break through and then you just put all the, those people are trash and you you there you're like a one star and they're like a six star. But you were able to beat them when you were one rank lower, so like they think you're no, sh- you're not shit, and then you just like murder everyone effortlessly, and it's this most satisfying face slapping. Mm. This entire book is one giant victory lap. It's incredible. <laughs> like this char- this main character Lee Ki Yi, had no cultivation, and was victory lapping on people. Like it was insane. Yeah, no, no. The the very beginning of this book is like you get the description of this drunk guy who is basically holding the sect ransom because he had one of these orders that like the ancestor of the sect had handed out that like anyone who holds this can order the sect to do anything and they have to do it or they're just like straight up dishonoring their ancestors. Damn. Um, and so like they have been terrified of this guy because he's literally called like three talents, <laughs> uh, which is spending money. Drinking and fooling around in brothels. Incredible. He's really good at that third thing. I mean, really good at that is, third is thing. Is that a skill? Is that a measurable skill? Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. With yeah. enough time and practice. He's mm-hmm. peerless. The Tao of brothels, he's cultivated that to the maximum. Mm-hmm. So we open up on our main character, Lee Ki Yi, who has somehow swindled this man, everyone assumes, out of this order. And like he shows up to the sect and he's like, I'm the prime disciple now. Thanks. <laughs> oh, and this is literally immortal with in the eyes of the world the most trash possible potential mortal life will mortal physique crappy potential like all of it his blood is terrible all of it's bad he's got bad blood bad blood uh, yeah. bad blood that's hard to beat so that's hard to come back from your blood's bad that's just you oh well, yeah yeah exactly that it's yeah because you, you can never change it yeah that's oh, hard so to come they back think, from because they're idiots yeah, well. so like this this sect that he joins used to be like the big bad of the world like it was the the sect uh but over time it's deteriorated over countless generations thanks to the you know the difficult Dao era yeah yeah uh like Which, these heavenly people fought and they fucked up the Tao energy for everybody, so it was yeah. just like a drought for 30,000 years. So they have this cool thing called becoming the immortal emperor, and you get to bear the heaven's will. The heaven's will is like a thing that supports the Tao of all of the heavens. And one, they had, what is it, was it? Like a, a divine dragon thing was pissed off with the current era's immortal emperor, and he's like, no. You don't get to do this. So he grabbed his, he grabbed, he stole the uh, heaven's will. And then in their battle, they ripped it apart, triggering the 40,000 year difficult Dow era. Yeah, he just, he just grabbed, he's like, sunder a tip, sunder a tip, sunder a tip. <laughs> and, then, and, and then it sundered? Yeah, pretty much. And then everyone was fucked for a long time. Oh, yeah, time. yeah, yeah. It was so bad that even like all of like the, the ancient monsters and all of the strong people mummified themselves. And hid and buried themselves. Good God. To try so, and like hibernate until the energy came back. So they don't die of old age because they can't cultivate anymore. <laughs> Spoilers, so- most of them failed. Uh, <laughs> that sounds vaguely like the, the Shadowrun Genesis event. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Uh, but yeah, so he shows up. Uh, the, there's this other sect that has basically now kind of been like upholding this sect because it sucks now. But this other sect has risen into prominence, the Nine Gods Demon sect. Yeah, the Nine Gods, the, yeah. And they used to be like... They used to cozy up to these guys because we had an ancient emperor and they just had like, uh, I forgot the name of their highest guy, but he was a jobber compared to their dude. Sure. Yeah. He was, he was like, he was like the, the foot bearer for this yeah, fucking guy. Pretty much. And, you know, when they fell down, they rose, but because of the old, the old traditions, if they have a female prime disciple, 
and they and, and this kind of has a male prime disciple. They get to marry. They get to marry if the disciples prove themselves. So of course, like the, the get to or have to get to. She can refuse. To. It was kind of like a thing that was set up in a long time ago when when the sex powers were very much different. Okay. Uh, so they're still just honoring it essentially. Like they didn't really have to. But Tradition. here's the thing: Lee Ki Yi shows up with. One protect like one guy from the sect and like his master because they come on everyone hates him because they think he's shitty garbage stupid because he does a lot of things to them seems weird but he knows because Leaky is he's everyone's master secretly yeah he's been every important person's master for like the last ten million years yes that that's a weird sentence you just said okay. To me. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> so he shows up and do he's you, like, do you hey, want- I'm the proud disciple. I should get some weapons, right? And he goes and picks like the shittiest pair of just like mortal non-cultivator blades. And they're like, why would you fucking pick that? And they're like, no, this will be perfect. It's cool. And then he goes and like gets a martial art, which is also garbage because it can't train key. And he's like, why are you doing this? He's like, no, I'll be good. With these things, I could kill anyone under a royal noble, which is like, Really high in cultivation. People don't get due to this uh, the difficult doubt era. People didn't get above that. They couldn't get above it. So he just said, "All right, well, with these garbage piles, I can kill anyone." Yeah, essentially. Uh, and, and they're like, "Oh my god, this kid! He talks so much fucking shit. Why did this become oh, a yeah. prime disciple? This is the worst thing. Why do I have such dog shit luck?" Oh boy, does he talk? He talks shit to everybody. You're merely a blank, not enough to reach the apex. He says Ooh. that. Oh, he says that to people as a mortal. As a mortal. It's like people that are like four or five realms of cultivation above him. That's uh that's a that's a that's a reference in cultivation chat group that I just got. Somebody said to somebody that you are not good enough to reach the apex, and there was a translator's note that talked about this book. Ha ha! Bring it all back! <laughs> Thank you, Internet! Yo, it's a full circle. Yeah, yeah it's great. Um But yeah, so like he shows up and this one guy is like is is hot for the 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 daughter of heaven that's their prime disciple essentially the one that's about to get married yeah, off sure. to this garbage human being heaven right, proud daughter beauty that can destroy kingdoms literally a, a fairy literally like a princess literally like, a literally princess. a princess is she ever described as a fairy like beauty oh, of course oh no she's beyond a fairy like beauty oh, yeah. okay uh, I was gonna say she's that because there's tons of fairy like beauties. She's above them. They're tra- fairies are trash to her. Oh, yeah. I see. So <laughs> she's like ascendant <laughs> beauty. Yes. Basically, yeah. And so like everyone is so pissed because there's just this piece of shit nothing that's about to get married to like the jewel of their hearts. So this guy goes to start shit and he's like honestly a pretty strong disciple in this sect. He's one of their like their chosen. Yeah, he's he's got a his he is a ridiculous he has a good physique. He has a good life will, lots of potential, not as good as the Heaven's Proud Daughter. Few are. Sure. And so, like, the guy talks shit, and he's like, well, I'm, I'm willing to fucking fight if you are, but I doubt you have the courage. And Leaky, he's like, no, nah, dog, I'll kill the fuck out of you. Like, he doesn't get, I will kill you. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> not going to fight you. Nearly at your level, you fucking piece of garbage. Like, this is how he talks to people. Oh, like, God. I, I can understand why everybody also, would be like, So what you're saying is, pleased. this is a, a grossly out of proportion uh, against the gods. With, this, like, with the main character who seems trash, talks smack, and gets the girl. It's, it's against the gods if it was, uh, like, against the gods plus Tales of Demons and Gods repeated, like, four or five hundred times before we got to this part of the story. Wonderful. All right, continue. Oh, we also forgot that we skipped the part where when he first arrived with that writ to tell them, hey, I'm your prime disciple. Sure. He demanded to these nobles who are all royal nobles, the, the elders, I also deserve a weapon. And they're like, sure, you can have one weapon. Like, this is before he got the, the two swords. Yeah. He's like, nah, give me that stick. That one, That'll be good enough. That one that you're using to push wood around in the fireplace. Yeah. I'll take that stick. And That'll like, be my you, weapon. And they're like, and everyone, you could go sure. in their minds and like, this dude's a fucking idiot. He's Why gonna fucking a die. Stick? Send him to the the, the 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 other clan so he can get killed. So keep in mind, <laughs> we are not at this sect anymore. We are at the nine demon god or nine god demon sect. Sure. sure. And there are only two people from his sect watching him, and they are beholden to him. They have to take care of him because he is their responsibility. Like that, he is the prime disciple. Whether that is just because of the order or not, they do there. There are things to be followed. Yeah. Um, 
So he goes in, and they do want this marriage to happen, because if the marriage happens, then the nine-god demon sect is, like, literally becomes attached to them, and they're they're under their umbrella, and, and there's so many things they don't have to worry about. Yeah, because, you know, their sect has it, been in ruins for a few thousand years now. Oh, what was the name of it again? Nine gods demon sect? Yeah. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds like a good sect to attach your name to. Yeah. So, um, these, uh, this guy is like, all right, fine, well, I'm just gonna actually fucking kill you because you just agreed to a life and death match with a person who's a cultivator and you're a fucking mortal. Let's fucking go. And so he goes and throws a sword, and Lee Ki-Yi, like, casually tosses out those two blades that he got, and they, like, roll around and they hit this weird arc, and then, like, right as they hit each other, they hit the guy, and, like, the sword of his, like, hits him in the shoulder. And everyone's like, oh my god, Lee Key's gonna die. Oh well, yeah, it was a bad, like, it was a bad wound. Like, if he was weaker, he would've just been cut in half. Sure. But just his shoulder, yeah. right? Yeah. So he's bleeding profusely from the shoulder. Yeah. But you should've seen the other guy. He gets split into five pieces. Hmm. Again, Cultivator, like, five realms into Cultivation. A normal mortal should not have been able to scratch this guy. <laughs> and he just casually is so good at this martial art that he just learned a day ago. Uh, that's not actually true. They actually talk about him, like, actually training hard. Yeah, he was training for hours before he left. Mm. But, but uh, like, Because his body, not that he didn't know it, his body physically can't do the stuff required. So he had to train his body to do it. So he did that. So he kills this guy. Everyone's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. Well, Why? What? How? How? Turns out those blades... Um, they were like an old keepsake of the immortal emperor that had run the ancient incense or yeah, sect actually, or whatever. Actually, actually, the ancient incense sect, which whatever it is. by the way, the main character raised from a child. So when he picked up those blades, it was in like a statue. They were resting in a statue of the old ancient emperor. And it was the ancient emperor resting with the two swords with the, with the, the, the dark crow over it, over him, over, atop him. And so you can see Leaky E like a proud father, kind of look at it, s- smile. Oh, they kept the, the first blades I gave him and then <laughs> took them. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's looking at him, he's like, oh, little brat Minren. Yeah. Like, yeah. like talking about this immortal emperor who, who had the will of heaven and shaped the fate of history. Like, he's just so a little brat. Where has he been? He just take a fucking nap? No, he died. Like, uh, there. No, no, so, no. Uh, main character. Oh, Ma- yeah, main character. Um, like, if okay, he's so, been reincarnating throughout history. So what ended up happening, weird stuff. He was a shepherd boy. All right. Because Glee right now, he's like 13, what we're seeing him. He was a shepherd boy, and he lost his sheep in the mountains. So he's like, if I don't get these sheep, I'm in big shit. Yeah. So he went up this mountain over this cliff looking for the sheep, and he comes across this cave. Cultivation cave? Not a cultivation cave. Damn. I know things. I read a book, you guys. A demon cave, basically. There thank was you. this... Um, uh, thank you. What is it? The Immortal Demon Grotto or something? Yeah, I think I'm And they were doing some fucked up shit, and they're like, oh, man, cool. What's up, kid? Hey, cool sacrifice. N- nice soul. We're yeah. going to use you to create this thing <laughs> called the Dark Crow. So he was, he was blessed with this infinite power, but it wasn't his, and sent on a trip to gather as many techniques and powers as possible for this immortal demon grotto or whatever. Immortal evil grotto or whatever the heck yeah. it is. Here's the thing. He doesn't want to help them. At all. So he devised a way for despite him continually living in this dark crow and like being captured and having his soul searched and all this stuff he found a way to not let them get any of the techniques that he get, had to go out and find. He would always erase all of his memories of everything he's doing. Because he would live for like a, a few million years, do a bunch of shit, raise people. Ra- and he was raising people to create an army to get revenge on this immortal demon grotto and free him. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. So he's raising, finding all of these magical talents, creating these dials and all these things to get revenge. Then he would erase himself. But he he imprinted something on himself that if he finds the pieces of of one of the techniques he creates or discovers, he remembers all of it. Oh, so, so the, the training he was doing, he was just reminding himself of some shit that he came yeah, up with. Exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, he, like he, they gave him a shitty martial art. He looked at it and he's like, oh yeah, I remember the perfected martial art that immortal emperor Min Rin spent like hunt, like thousands of years thinking over and perfecting with me guiding him. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> and that becomes the special ability of our main character. That's our protagonist's so, uh, special <laughs> ability. He just did it already. Yeah, he's just, <laughs> it's like literally when we said it's a victory lap, like he's already done all the things. Like people are like, how are you so good at alchemy? He's like, oh, it's just a hobby of mine. Of course, when he says it's just a hobby, he means that at a certain point, he found a kid who was skilled at alchemy and the two of them created alchemy. Great. <laughs> All of the Dao of Alchemy <laughs> created it. And then the Grand Dao was lost that. to the world. So he's the only living person who has the Dao of Alchemy. You guys made me laugh real bad sometimes. That was, this is fucking ridiculous. So this like, he's saying, he like, he goes, it like, and for the, through all throughout history, he's been like, all right, cool. You're going to do all these things, but don't tell anyone about me. Oh yeah. He makes them make fate, like on their fate will make uh, deals with him in their fate palace. That you cannot teach this to anyone. And you cannot tell anyone what I did. So like no one knows he's a figure in history. But he's actually the one who has shaped all of history. Mm. And so That's... now this is, this is finally. He is stopping the Dark Crow. He has returned to his mortal physique. Nice. And so, so he finally now, gets to be a kid again. So now he can cultivate. Yeah. All the while the reason he couldn't do those things. Because he was the Dark Crow. He couldn't like use that power, so because it wasn't his. It wasn't his. So now he finally has a mortal body. So now, like, we just start with him at the end of the story when he's finally ready to culminate all of the things he's done throughout his very, very long lifetime. So, in it's so it's a victory lap where we just learn all of the ridiculous shit he does as we go. Yeah, and kills a bunch of people who test him. Of course. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, he but, he he does not care about yeah, killing anyone. Like, people are bags of flesh to him unless they have talent. And even then, they're only useful if they immediately swear loyalty to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. This Heaven's Proud Daughter, we will skip ahead because th that, that entire arc right there in that period is really cool and something to the character. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to spoil it. Sure. Skip ahead. Heaven's Proud Daughter comes back to the ancient instance uh, sect, you know, to meet the prime disciple and all that stuff. Bunch of haters there still talking shit about this guy. But the people who know how ridiculous it, he is have sworn fealty to this man. No, yeah, no I saw yeah. him do that the, and they were like, The oh. two people that he went with are both like, yeah, we serve you now and not the sect. We serve you. And he's like, you know, eventually, you're going to know worried. how wise of a decision you just <laughs> fucking made. <laughs> One but day. They you, show up. You, my friends, have It eyes. takes like 10 days. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to marry you. You're just some garbage. And then he bodies her. Like, like, keep in mind, he has finally started training his physique. And he started training this physique because he has the original physique Bible that no one has. Yeah, he's, he's the one that wrote the book that all the physiques have, like, filtered down and become shitty from. <laughs> so he has the, the core words that you built physiques. And he chooses, there's, there's, what is it? There's six different types of, of amorphous physiques. There's, and there's 12. There's two on each side. There's hardness, softness, purity. Taint. Taint. Yeah. Oh, train your taint, bruh. Train that no, dude. Uh, exactly. in a bunch of stuff. Hey, guys. Taint is Leaky. Yeah, Le 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 he picks taint. <laughs> oh, good. And, and he picks uh, the taint. There's two versions of taint that he can grab, right? <laughs> oh, man. Grab it. Grab uh, and, more about, and, tell and, me more about Leaky grabbing taint. There's the, there's the, 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 the hell. The, the, there's the one that makes you fast as the skies. And there's one that makes you so heavy, your feet will crush hell. Yeah, it's just you can, like, kick and shatter mountains. Because oh. you're so heavy. I see. Yeah, I mean, just because of the weight of your body. That's it. Yeah, your body's so hard and heavy. But the downside is he's so slow. It's cool. He solved that with the emperor's uh, merit law. Because that's what they train when you cultivate. You cultivate a merit law. You cultivate a way you grow yourself. Sure. These concepts are how you The cultivation uh, is how you cultivate. And the cultivation is super cool. Super in depth, like super artful, but mm -hmm. Lee Ki is so good at it because he's done it already that we don't spend a huge amount of time cultivating because he doesn't have any bottlenecks. Yeah, because he he already know he's already traced himself out an outline. He's just tracing back over it. His bottleneck is he has no natural talent. But it's cool he has enough techniques to make up for that. But that's beyond the point. He's found a merit law that was the merit law that was cultivated by Min Ren. Created by Minrin when he became, you know, an immortal emperor. Sure. Um, and he has the better version of it, the original version of it. And it makes him so you're you're super fast and super strong, but you have no killing abilities. Like it's not good for killing. Sure. But you're so fast and strong, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then his body's so heavy, like heavier than ten thousand mountains, that he just kind of flings his body at people. 
Yeah. So he just uses himself as like a human cannonball and just dominates everyone. That sounds yeah like a pretty good technique. I mean, series of series yeah. of techniques. So essentially, what ends up happening is this daughter of heaven. Because he's like, I'm not interested. I've I've seen the prettiest girls that have ever existed. You're I'm not just interested okay. in this. You're, you're kind of cute, yeah. but you have potential. Your talent is what I need. You can be my sword maiden, my you, sword maid. You could just be around me and fight people for me. Because honestly, fighting's a little beneath me. <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't want to, you know, explode everyone. Well, that's pretty much what they're there for. So he doesn't just kill everyone. Yeah. 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 There's so many scenes of people being like who know how Ki-Yi actually treats people, and people start talking shit to them, and they just start beating the crap out of them, being, and then, like, looking back, and it's like, will that appease your anger? Do they not have to die? <laughs> He'll tell them, girl, kill him. And this is, like, the proud prince of an ancient kingdom. And he's like, you're not a real ancient kingdom. It's why your stupid country is smart enough not to call yourself that you're 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 merely an ancient country not enough to reach the apex i and he's saying this to their whole army i'm sorry yeah. the, the <laughs> are, are you suggesting that a country can cultivate like like uh, no it, it's more like um <laughs> yes a country as opposed to like a sect it's just like a country that happens to have powerful cultivators instead of a sect oh i see okay fair enough yeah it's uh, another like but, political uh, power a country but there's levels there's like you know, you're a nation, you're a city, and then you become a kingdom. And if you've existed time immemorial and has all this power, you become an ancient kingdom. It also has to deal with um, the the level of power of your top expert. Yeah. Okay. Like whoever the person leading you is, the strongest guy, that also determines what you could like. Because if you could call yourself an ancient kingdom, but actual ancient kingdoms are going to be like, you're how what? dare you what? insult the title? I'm going to kill you now. And they will actually just kill you to, to, <laughs> to recover some of their face. <laughs> you took it away by saying that you were an ancient kingdom. Yep. Yeah. How would you do that? How dare you? Who you're do you not. think you I are? I mean, if you're at that level of skill that they can just erase you. That yeah. How yeah. dare and you? It's like, why the fuck would you do that? Why Did you want to piss us off? Because you did. <laughs> but yeah, you're saying it to these people. Starting like international incidents. This is what this character does. Starts incidents, problems. He creates them and then he solves them. But he's doing it in the prince of this place, the baron of this place, the, the future king of this place, the, the Tao child of this nation in, in their wives and their future fiancés. He'll say to that guy, hey, Dao child, I'm going to take your woman. Flirt with the woman and be like, I don't actually want you, even though she's sultry and sexy as fuck. No, I want you to be my maid. Still flirting with him in front of everyone in, in the area, pissing him off. Sure. And then if, he sucks, if the guy's trying to talk shit, he'll tell the other girl, who everyone thinks is his fiance, who really is maid, tells her, kill them. Yeah, just fuck them up. And then she immediately moves. Of course, there's <laughs> also the paragraph where everyone's like, sneering in their hearts because it's like yeah like she's gonna listen and then like she's already moving forward with sword drawn to kill them incredible because she has fallen in love with the benefits she gains from following Lee Ki Yi yes because that is what everyone does when they're around Lee Ki Yi which I would like to use to bring up another fun story of the time when the sect gave Lee Ki Yi 300 disciples to train oh yeah oh that's an incredible scene yes please go please All right. Um, so I'm going to lead in with a little bit of information that we, uh, we teased earlier. Um, the stick that he picked up out of the fireplace. Sure. Yeah. It's actually a stick from this like incredibly cursed forest and literally no one underneath like one of the highest realms of cultivation can resist being beaten by this stick. Like, Another fun fact about the stick, it cannot kill someone. So you can beat someone within an inch of their lives. Yeah. And they will never die. Yeah, it's pretty that great. That sounds fun. Nice merit law. I'll do, it's a switch. It's a switch. But it's just a switch. The yeah. penultimate switch. So, like, he rehears this is happening. He immediately tells one of his two servants that he gained at the beginning, hey, uh, go get me records on all of the merit laws that those 300 kids are training in. And keep in mind, these are not, like, good disciples. These are kind of, like, the shitty disciples that, if they can pass the test, can become real disciples. Sure. Are like we talking the, outer sect or, yeah, they're, like, They're outer sect guys trying to become, you know, okay. in the sect. Yeah, it, it, like real members. An outer sect is kind of trash in this sect. Yeah. yeah. And they've been, there's a guy who's been training for five years, but that's beside the point. Continue. Yeah. So um, he shows up first day. He's, he's, uh, he's gotten the information from his guy. Um, and he's like, he's like a 13 year old. Some of these people are like older than him. 
many of them are older than him. And he walks in like hot shit and just starts immediately doing his leaky thing and being like, you're all garbage. Um, do you have the, the actual quote? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go pull that up. Keep talking. I'll I'll Um, pull that up. But yeah, so he's like, all right. Essentially he's like, yeah, everything you've ever learned is garbage. Only listen to things I say from now on. And they're like, this is, this is your, this is ridiculous. I'm the strongest guy. I'm going to fight you. And he's like, cool. And they like immediately takes out the stick and just beats the crap out of this guy. And he's like, good work. That was cool. All right. You're next. Who's next? And- oh, no one. I'm going to beat everybody. So everyone's just running for their lives. <laughs> and he's hunting them down. Uselessly. He hunts so many people and just beats them senseless that like, and, and when I say senseless, I mean like you can break bones with this stick and they will heal shortly after. Mm. Mm, God love that good beat. So like he's like beating people into piles of jelly with this fucking stick. It's like unimaginable pain. And then like everyone is terrified of him. So they're running from him. Some people start to try and fight. And like as they try and fight, he like immediately hits their weakest spots and just like beats the crap out of them. But he's doing it with a purpose. As he beats people, he's not just beating them. He's beating them everywhere they fucked up in cultivation, everywhere they fucked up in their martial arts, every every weakness, hole in their technique, everything. So they learn. So he teaches by beating. So the second day, <laughs> he comes back and they're they're like, the same guy's like, all right, now I've got a. Sh-. He like takes a shield out and he like hits it and he's like, all right, let's go. To, we're gonna fight and he like takes a shield and like, he instantly again beats the crap out of them. But he's like, nice, that was smart. I like that you went and fought me. <laughs> Who's next? And then it continues to beat all 300 <laughs> disciples again. Do they, do they at least, like, line up this time? Oh, no, they're still it, running. It takes a few few beatings to get to the point. Next yeah. day, uh, the, the like, like day four, the pompous kid is no longer than the front of the line. He has kind of learned his lesson. He's like, I just don't want to get beat up anymore. And so, like, w- the weakest kid or one of the weakest kids comes up and he's like, you're going to beat us anyway, so I'll just, why not be first? Yeah. Uh, I like it. And he's like, hmm. You should have fought. Beats the shit out of him. <laughs> and then, like, and then proceeds to beat the shit out of all 300 disciples again. And, like, people, on, like, day, like, six or seven, people start realizing, like, they, they start fighting back more. Like, they're, they're, they're trying to, like, use teamwork. They're, they're like, trying to, like, fix weight. Like, they learn from the ways he hit them before, like, beat their techniques immediately before. So they start showing up those defenses. And they all start improving drastically. And they're not sure, like, really why. But then they start being like, is he doing this on purpose? Like, this is crazy. <laughs> And then, like, day 10, like, someone's like, man, it's really cool that you've been teaching us these techniques. Like, thank you. And he's like, all right, cool. And he's like, all right, I'm ready to be beaten up now. And he's like, I, I was going to teach the Tao today. I was going to. But, I mean, like, if you're hungry for it. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying he invented assassination classroom. <laughs> uh, basically, yeah. And so, like, and then he, like, sits down and he's, like, starts, like, he takes, like, the shittiest, crappiest, most low-level beginner no merit one cares law about this merit law. in the entire sect that you basically only give to people who just have fucked up potential so that they can't really do anything. It's like the junk drawer cultivation thing. Okay. And then he starts talking about it, and they're like, holy shit. He ruminates on this Tao, and he's like, it, he makes it sound like it is the most incredible, most in-depth Tao to have ever existed. And he's like, it's like, because it is. <laughs> Like, yeah, this is basically the cult basis of all cultivation. If you follow these principles, you can do it in all things. And then, but then after he's done with that, he starts talking individually about every single person's Tao and has the same level of profound insights into every single one of these. And these people are like, he's like completely mastered this Tao and he's done it for 300 ones. And I'm pretty sure none of these are the ones he uses. <laughs> Yeah, but like he's definitely helped somebody figure them out over time, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. He developed but every he's single younger one of them. than all of them, so they can't. They literally, their minds can't feasibly understand. And at this point, his physical cultivation is lower than all of theirs, so they can't even they begin can't. to uh, imagine yes. that this kid could have like one. Yeah. So, like, the kids start doing stuff. Like, there's this one. Like, he starts like really becoming a mentor to these kids. And I mean, like, the beatings continue, yeah. of course, but less Why frequently. Wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, he elects one that becomes the leader of their group, and then yeah, like, it was the it was the one that was like figured out that he was training them, the girl, and then he was like, "You've been chosen," and she got chosen. She became she literally is pretty much being passively mentored to greatness. Yeah, because she made one good decision, and that's pretty much all Leaky <laughs> needs. It's like you prove yourself to him once, and he's got your back. 
That sounds this sounds like a really fun book. How much of this book is there? Uh, uh there's like twelve hundred chapters so far. Like eleven eleven fifty. It's a okay. long ass pick. Okay, like, 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 he's, he's still listen, going. He's, he's still, still going. Laughing. He is I have not at a single point felt threatened. Like felt that Lee Key was at all threatened. You felt threatened for everyone around Lee Key. Everyone <laughs> else is in danger. Except him. He's totally Jesus. fine in all situations. Like, he talks the highest shit, and there's not been a single time in the book where I have not inherently believed exactly the words he said. Because he doesn't, he doesn't exaggerate. He says the most ridiculous things, but it's always exactly on the level. Here's a quote from when he was teaching people, okay? Yeah. I, I screenshot this because I'm like, this is the best way to explain the, the personality of this character. I am your instructor. I will take charge of everyone here. Heart bones without submission? That is fine. I will hit them until he or she submits. Otherwise, be obedient disciples for me. In front of me, everything you've learned before, whether you are a genius or not, throw it all away. In front of me, geniuses and dog shit are of little value. A dragon, call yourself from me. A lion, lie down from me. Otherwise, I will beat you until your arrogant egos are shattered. God damn <laughs> <laughs> and he talks like that to and, everyone. And then he beats them for 10 days until all of them are beaten and then like walks out the dojo, basically. Incredible. Like, Wait, and so he just, he, he he beats them and then teaches them a little and then he's like, cool, oh, no, no, first beast. 10 days he didn't teach them shit. He just beat them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He beat them because they were not, they couldn't move. They couldn't yeah. do anything. Come back the next day. You still have not learned I am your better. Be you until you understand, and then I can teach. Then I can actually instruct you. Because at first he wasn't going to beat them until they talk shit. And then, of course, you have to beat you them. You have to beat them. Yeah, yeah. And then they earn 10 days of beating. And he's like, it's fine. I've trained many people with this beating stick. Truly, <laughs> truly the apex of beatings will continue until morale improves. Minrin yeah. and his generals, the immortal emperor that founded the sect, were beaten with that stick because they did not believe. <laughs> so th that stick is what? Just so indestructible that it stuck it's, around for them to like poke it with a... F it was used as them just sweeping up dirt and putting things to burn. I mean... It was just a switch. It's just like a piece of stick. It was yeah, like but a, if it's that old, I don't know, man. I would... I. I must be a weird kind of person would, that would take eventually that stick and just throw it in the it fire. It doesn't have any aura. Well, also, it wouldn't be burned by the fire. Yeah, it would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah, but if but that's you feel the like case, then you, had, yeah, yeah, then you would have been out. like, "Whoa, what's up with this?" Maybe stick? it didn't fit in the fireplace. They couldn't. They okay, couldn't. I'll, I'll take that. The thing is, they used their senses to sense magical energy, well, energy and potential and things. And no one, no one will, unless you knew where it's from or what it is, no one would know that this was not just a stick. And it was ten million years ago. Ask. But yeah, that's mind. what I'm saying. A 10 million year old stick? God damn, that's a good stick. No, but like, I mean, it's like forgotten. Yeah. It's gas Over time, also. it's just like, it's just like a gas. stick. We'll throw it in there. Oh, a little bit of a survivor. So we put more stick. Oh, let's grab this. Uh, 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 throw it there. Who gives a shit, right? Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, so like 15 days into him teaching them, that he is like a mentor figure for them. Like there's a guy there. The test is coming up to become the intersect disciple. And there's this guy who's like, no, I'm sorry. You actually trained with like completely the wrong cultivation. Cripple your own cultivation. Just restart start yourself start, back to zero. Start from zero, and it'll be better for you. And then train with this. And the guy's like, but then I won't be able to join the intersect. And he's like, who cares about the intersect? If you do this, you will you can reach the top. Because he had a, a unique body type and a unique physique that no one could detect. So, and it's like, your physique isn't weak either. Because, like, oh, it's just a, it's just a Xantian, uh, a Hoshian physique, right? Hoshian physique. That doesn't matter. Hoshian physique can... If you train it correctly, it can compete with immortal physiques. You just have to train it right. So he gives hope to all these people who, for thousands and millions of years, it's always been thought, what you're born with is what you have. And you're just stuck with shitty cultivation options. Pretty much. But he knows that's not the truth. It's not the truth. And so everyone around him just immediately starts to meteorically rise in power. I like that. Rising tide raises yeah. the oil surface, yeah. all that kind of stuff. That's and like he's doing this because he's like he's just like, I am making my army to go fucking do the thing finally. Yeah, I'm gonna go fuck those dudes up. So this is just this very rapid ascension of this guy. And he's like training in a law that's like supposed to be garbage because like it, it burns out your cultivation at a certain oh, point. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a way to sp speed up your uh you burn your blood energy, right? Sure. To level up your fate will. We shouldn't be able to change until you get more life and more strength. And it, it lets you train very fast 
but you would burn up your blood so much you can't progress anymore and you'd be stuck there forever. Not true. But it's cool. He has an immortal physique because he can train in it, and that produce that's what produces your blood. So his blood energy is so incredibly, terribly potent that he could train in this with no repercussions at all. And mm. and, and because of, and then he finds his life treasure, which extends your life but helps you train, is something he, that was created when they went to war in the nine heavens. And millions of cultivators died in a ritual to create this thing. And he looked at it and he felt depressed. But it's literally, what is it? Ocean of sea of blood? It's a sea of it's a sea of of blood. Like Dow like blood from Dallas. Yeah, cultivator like <laughs> essence blood. A sea of essence blood from cultivators compacted into a tiny form that can be explosively oh. <laughs> mung how would have loved that at one point yeah. mung how basically had that at multiple points but um yeah the, like I, I feel like the one, one last thing we're gonna do because it's getting a little long and i, I we're rambling like just guys just expect it's a victory lap just enjoy just sit back enjoy the ride enjoy people yeah. get it's just as porn it's just as porn the novel yeah it's there's never i have never i've read a, a fair bit of these novels at this point and i have never read a more inherently overpowered main character Yes. Those are fun. Yeah. But um I wish they my only gripe is I wish they covered more time spent more time on the cultivation because the cultivation chapters are really cool. They're very eloquent, but sometimes they feel like they just blindside you because like he won't be cultivating and then suddenly he will cultivate and because he cultivates so fast, he just like does all the steps of a cultivation realm at the same time a yeah. lot of the time. I've left that realm and the realm before it, I'm gonna explain these realms and now they're gone. Oh yeah. But it is it is very flowery, flowery and eloquent. It's it's always like, I don't know. It feels like Chinese poetry. Yeah, definitely. It's like looking at a like 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 looking at a picture of art, just like an art. This is a, this is an artistic work. The cultivation is mm, okay. The the other stuff is just him bodying people and talking shit. <laughs> yeah, the talking shit is very satisfying. Yeah. Sounds like. Where 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 can we read this one? Where's this one available? Uh, Usha World. Yeah, it's on Usha World. Uh. Read along many of our other favorites like Coiling Dragon or Ashless Hill of Heavens. Nice. It um, is it's a gem. I would never tell I won't I won't tell people not to read it. I would just say, guys, don't burn yourself out on it. Like I read it, I went from like chapter one to chapter like four hundred in like two days. Good God. Yeah, I, I read about 150 and burned out, and then like I'll I'll read like 10 once I've caught up on all my other books and then like go back and catch yeah. up. It's one of those it, treat it like like cake. You don't eat your cake before dinner. Yeah, yeah, you gotta eat. You gotta throw a couple. I chapters only of it on eat the end. cake. Cake yeah. is delicious. It's a very satisfying novel. I, I do, I do highly recommend it. All right. Well, that sounds like a glowing endorsement. Um, I'm really upset that I didn't get to talk more about Cultivation Chat Group because I have a lot of things that I like. Yeah, I do like the guy who like mysteriously can do alchemy on a hot plate. That sounds fascinating. He he just he got the ingredients. He saw the recipe and was like, I got most of that right. And then, like, and then, and then, starts to try and do it. Realizes he doesn't. Gets ingredients from somebody later. Does it on a hot plate and and uh, I'm sorry, on an induction cooker and a hot pot, and and explodes it. And the guy who wrote the recipes, like, what the fuck did you do? And like, comes over to his house and like watches him do it. And then and then like rinse an entire house and just gives it to him. Like, this is a ridiculous. It's it's it doesn't I it doesn't you. it's fine. I, One thing you'll learn about cultivation is that all of them in, are insanely rich as far as any mortal is confirmed. Yeah, <laughs> this, this kid just didn't know the he poorest know cultivator. Oh man, dude. I felt so bad for him though in the beginning because like everyone else, if they were a normal human being at the beginning of that novel would realize, oh, this is just real cultivation. But he's like, he didn't. Nah, he got, I used to be a chuny. These are a bunch of chunies. He Fuck looks that. at it, and yes, of course, he sees a bunch of people in a chat room acting like cultivators, and he's like, these are fucking nerds. Yeah, Look at but these then fucking he, nerds. They're like, like, oh, man, this, this kid's going through his tribulation. And then he walks into the city, and he sees literally... Dragons and serpents of lightning were <laughs> no, there were lightning snakes. No, 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 that's CG, dude. Yeah, no, that, movie that happens. They were filming a they movie. They lost yeah. all power. 
Things got bodied. Hundred thugs ended up knocked right. out in like, comas for like three days. That, that All started... of that is a part of the work. God, don't you know art? <laughs> that that started him being suspicious that maybe these dudes are up to something. I he's felt like, so no. frustrated. There was there was no there was there was like a chapter. There was like a chapter. There was like a guys, paragraph where he's like, guys. Wait I a second. You. Where was that guy? Was that where I just was? Yeah. Man, that just, that and then, and like he looks real... down. No, a bunch of chunies. Yo, fuck that. Fucking chunies. What, Bill? I, I understand, but that's for another episode. We'll, we'll divert... What are we doing next week? Next week? I don't know. What's... It's Korean it's time, isn't it? No, we did LNS last. Oh, uh, so it's uh, uh, so Japanese. It's... So, so yeah. it's Japanese. Time. Oh, Tensei Shitara, Slime Dot Ken. It's my time. Oh. oh, okay. That sounds like a fun one. What's that one called? Tensei Shatar slime dot akin. I didn't understand what you just said. That's, that's all right. It's, it's a slime. It's a dude that died reincarnated as a slime. Also world building. Also. Um, yeah, everything Richard's told me about this has been fascinating. <laughs> that sounds like a fun one. A guy that's the slime now. All yeah, right. Well, and then builds a country. Funny. Well, that sounds like next episode. We'll talk about slime co slime country <laughs> slime tree. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for coming in and listening. Um, one day I will host this podcast. You watch. All you got to do is pick a book and read it. Fuck you. <laughs> like, Take a ow. look. It's in a book. I mean, yeah, what? read something. Read Breakers. We're, we're no, gonna cover Breakers. This I, is I, next actually, I actually have a theory. There's there's this um, there's this website that um, that I saw advertised on a YouTube channel. So uh, I'm not gonna say what it is because I, a I can't remember what it is, but b I don't want to give them free advertising. But it is a light novel like uh, rental or like 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 uh, buying service where you can just like buy light novels. So I think I'll read a Japanese book next, and uh, I'll pick one of the goofy ones. Pick Konosuba. I mean, probably Konosuba. Or no, it's, I, I don't know, man. I'll look for a goofy one. I think or Bacano. I, I'm going Bacano. to stamp the goofy ones you with do, the Seth like, Mark. Ones that have amazing animes. Because you just cheat. No, I already <laughs> watched Bacano. So definitely not Bacano. <laughs>